guys, it's Parzival. I also go by Will, and I am back with another character babble for you guys. This one's actually one I'm pretty excited to talk about because this is a relatively new character of mine. Her name is Trina Penbrook, and I just, I haven't had an OC in a while that I created who I just super connected with really quickly and was super excited about, like, how... Uh, distinct she was in my head um, and so as usual the art I'm drawing is my reference sheet for Trina and uh, you can see in both images uh, that I'm referencing she has her poncho on but for her reference sheet I did want her to have her poncho off just because I felt like her having her poncho on would actually hide her actually like body type and body shape which not gonna lie uh part of the reason i gave her a poncho was because i couldn't figure out what body type she had at first so i just kind of gave her a poncho and decided i'd figure it out later uh but you know what that's uh it that's fine it worked out and uh, i'm actually really really happy with how this ref turned out because i feel like it really captured her like character and attitude but yeah, uh, Trina's relatively new. She's, like, less than, uh, four months old in terms of character creation, which isn't actually a lot. But I've, uh, been using her mostly for some freestyle headcanoning with, uh, my cousins, uh, in Dungeons & Dragons type universes. She is a, um, cavalier slash chevalier, uh, character. Uh, she, uh, knows how to ride a horse and is a... Um, ex noble, uh, noble person, uh, ex nobility. I think that's the word for it. Um, and she is a Delahan. And part of uh, what I was working with was I had just listened to the musical Six, which um, is a musical I was not expecting to like because it only has nine songs in it. And uh, I, I was like, oh, well, it's one of those, like, kind of, sort of musicals that isn't really a musical, but all, all nine of those songs really slap. Like, they're super, super catchy, and especially the one by Anne Boleyn uh, called Don't Lose Your Head, and that was the main inspiration for Trina's personality, because it's a very, like, Spice Girls, poppy, um, like, ballet girl sort of song and I like it a lot because it's uh basically about how Anne Boleyn lost her head and how she was a noble person who married Henry VIII because six is all about the six ex-wives of Henry VIII and how she got to the point she was at where uh she was um beheaded and the main line of it was besides don't lose your head which was the title um, was, like, don't worry, um, uh, don't worry about it, and the entire song being super valley girlish and poppy really made me want to make a character that had a similar sort of personality, so I made Trina, who is a ex, uh, ex-nobility, who, she, she's very good at certain things that she was trained in um but she doesn't actually have a major concept of like stuff outside of her life uh so like she's good at uh you know like flower arrangement and understands etiquette she knows how to ride a horse because she was trained in it uh but she doesn't really understand things that are outside of her circle so like farming she has no idea about like she doesn't have any idea about how people live day-to-day -day lives outside of nobility where like she can just ask for something and basically get it and she acknowledges this she's self-aware that she's not super smart uh at least that's how she phrases it uh i've heard someone say that she's book smart but not street smart and that's technically correct but she's not really that book smart either um she's just very specialized in her intelligence and most of that intelligence is not actually useful for most everyday people um but she's she's really okay with that uh 
I think the best word to describe her would be probably ditzy. Uh, and I don't really have a lot of ditzy characters, so I'm pretty happy about, like, connecting with Trina so quickly because she's just really, really fun to play and in a way that doesn't feel like I'm being obnoxious. And maybe, like, it's obnoxious to other people, but at least the, the people who I've played Trina with and, like, developed her with don't think she's annoying. She's just very amusing and enjoyed to actually, um, like, actually experience to, for them so far. Um, so I really want to go, like, you know, ditzy California Valley Girl type with her personality. Uh, and she is a Dullahan, actually, and I went with that because I was still going off the uh, Anne Boleyn song from Six, and I thought it would be kind of funny, it, uh, since she was kind of already a jokey sort of character, uh, I thought it'd be kind of funny if she actually did uh, get caught uh, sleeping with someone she wasn't supposed to, or accused of sleeping with someone she wasn't supposed to, or flirting with someone she wasn't supposed to be with, and uh, the court she was a part of had her executed, and she was just too ditzy to die. She was too stupid to die. Um, so she just walks around as a Dullahan now, and uh, she's got like uh, she's got like bandages on her neck uh, that you can't see under her tur turtleneck to keep her head on. But um, a lot of people uh, asked me when I was creating her, and I told them that she was a Dullahan. Uh, they were like, "Oh, is she gonna like literally like lose her head, like lose track of where she put it?" And I'm like, "No, no, she's not gonna lose her head because once her head is off of her body." She doesn't know how to navigate. So, like, if she loses her head, she will have to just sit down and, like, fumble around to find her head to put it back on her body. Because she has no idea how to, like, function without it. Like, because she, she was taught that if you lose your head, you, like, if your head falls off your body, you, your body doesn't work anymore. And she's just like, oh, okay, so that's that's how it's supposed to be. And she just, like... She doesn't go anywhere and, until her head is reattached. Even if, like, she technically can do it herself, and she has done it herself a couple times, she doesn't wander far because she's she's under the impression that she's not supposed to be walking around uh, without her head. Uh, which, true, I feel like that would creep some people out. Uh, but that's, that's definitely not what people mean by that, and she doesn't really get that. Um... Body type-wise, I mentioned that I put her in a poncho at first because I wasn't really sure what sort of body type to give her. Um, I don't have a lot of female characters, admittedly, that I use frequently, and a lot of the female characters I use do have, um, I don't want to call them flat, um, but I used to draw a lot of guys, so I don't really know how to draw characters with, like, a really big chest and I thought because Tr Trina has a poncho I should give her a really big chest or at least I have the opportunity to do that without being super not necessarily uncomfortable that's not the word because I do want to have characters with a di uh, diverse amount of body types and being able to draw characters with a larger bust is important for being able to draw characters in my opinion um, especially since I do uh, do commissions and if someone gives me a character who has a large bust, I want to be able to draw that. Uh, but more like, if I get confused about something, I can just slap her poncho on it, and it's not gonna matter quite as much if I'm, like, frustrated at something not turning out correctly. I can just put the poncho on, and it's fine. So, I thought it would be a good opportunity to, uh, give myself a way to branch out without being overly, um overly concerned about how well it turns out because I can get uh, rather fussy about something if I don't think it turned out well and I don't want to like show it to people so if I give myself a sort of out I can actually uh, try doing that more often and I think it will help uh, my ability to draw things that I'm not super used to like uh, breasts and I know from experience, when I didn't know how to draw muscles, if I create a character that I really, really like, who has muscles, and I want to draw them a lot, I will eventually learn how to draw muscles, because I enjoy drawing the character a lot. So, yeah, um, 
I, I did go a little bit out of my comfort zone with Trina's body type. She is uh, very short. She is like under five feet tall. And I want to make her short and hippie because um, I did want to make her like curvy, but like not chubby curvy, like like actually curvy with like a corset and uh, like a big bust and wide hips. Not that I don't want to do chubby curvy, but I don't really have a super short curvy character either. And so I want to do that too. And I thought that Trina would be a pretty good, uh, pretty good ex experience for that. I have a lot of short characters who are, again, flat, uh, flat chested, or they don't have breasts, but I don't really have one that's super like curvy and I remember a while ago, um, a couple years ago, I got a critique that uh, my characters don't look the height that they are, and so I thought that maybe if I tried to draw characters who were short, I would be able to figure out how to differentiate them from characters who were tall, and uh, having a different body type is a good way to work with that, because if everyone has the same body type, then... I'm not sure if I would be able to figure out proportions as easily. But yeah. Um, what else about Trina? Um, she is red and black because I was going through my why does not why does hot topic not have arm warmers anymore phase. So I want to do like a little bit of a. Sl I don't want to call it an emo color scheme, but I want to go with something that was like black blocking and dark uh so that's why that was red and black even though she's a very cheerful character um honestly trina has just been super fun to like just develop and play with because she feels so refreshing and different than what i usually do and I mean, it doesn't super seem like that all the time but uh it, it is for me at least Oh, uh, one thing I do want to state, because I do know that I have encountered a couple of questions about this, and I did mention this in one of my sketchbook tours where I introduced Trina. Um, Trina is n uh, not intended to be one of those um, stereotypical uh, African-American characters can't read and are stupid type of uh, really bad stereotypes. She is literate, she can read. She just, um, she, she's qu stupid in the way that, um, I don't want to go privileged people are stupid because I'm also a privileged person to a certain extent, but people who aren't aware of other people's experiences can be kind of, um, yeah, let's stick with unaware, and they don't really understand things that haven't happened to them and that's trina and that's partially why she's uh going on adventures with other people so that she can learn more about other people's experiences because she was kicked out of her court uh technically kicked out after the whole uh decapitation issue uh they kind of freaked out because she kept talking and so they just banished her um she is currently friends with a sorcerer named azar who is just as smart as she is and so far they're getting along pretty well uh trina has attempted to eat azar's trail mix uh unfortunately for trina uh azar is not human and eats metal and wood so the trail mix was a bunch of whittling shards and um so trina w was not a huge fan of that but at the same time she just kind of accepted that at face value that some people just eat wood chips um and like she didn't spit it out so that was probably good uh maybe she should have spit it out but uh she didn't spit it out she didn't want to be rude and she just kind of accepted that at face value and was like yeah okay so my friend eats wood chips cool um but it, it's it's been fun so far and i'm really really happy with Trina's existence and what I'm doing with her so far and honestly it's really fun to not play a character that has to 
be held up to a standard of being intelligent about stuff sometimes. I don't know if that's an experience that everyone else has, but um, I, <laughs> I, I have a lot of antagonist characters and I have to make sure they're smart so that they're uh, actually threatening antagonists because I don't really have the, those like antagonists that are just like natural disasters um, like gods or uh, just um, like a Kratos type giant buff dude who just wants to destroy the world um, not that those are bad it's just I don't have those so it's always a situation of when I'm working and playing with them of trying to be as smart as they are and it's fine uh it's something I've gotten used to but such a relief right now to not have to do that with Trina and I didn't realize how much fun it could be to just play a character who didn't have to worry about being intelligent sometimes um I don't know if I have too much more to say about uh, Trina. I hope you guys enjoyed this character babble, and I hope you guys uh, would like to see more of her as much as I enjoy sharing about her. So yeah, I will send you guys to the outro now. Thanks for sticking around. Bye! Well, that's the end of this video. As usual, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below in the comment section, or contact me on any of my social media, which is linked in the description below. I also have my Patreon there if you guys want to throw a monthly donation at me. Thanks so much for your support. I'll see you next time. Bye!